What is up everybody, it's your boy, Lightning McMurphy here, and today we are doing the tier list from all the freaking videos I've seen on Pokemon Unite. We're doing a tier list based on the beta. We're going to be breaking down a lot of the characters, a lot of the movesets, talking about them, and where I believe they belong in the tier list. And now there's obviously going to be certain characters I've seen more than others, right? Because there's more footage on certain characters than others. So if I don't even have them listed, it's probably because for that exact reason. Also, if you look in the tier list right here, it says Rotom is here. He's not. Rotom's not playable. As far as I know, at least. At least yet, right? And um, so this tier list you're going to look at right now, right? We're all looking at it. This does not. Just look at it. This tier list does not have every Pokemon so far, right? So I actually will jump over to another page that's got it already organized. So for now, I think this is a better visual one. This one has two Karyos for some reason. But whether, nevertheless, let's just start. We're going to go right with S tier, right? Right off the bat, boom. Charizard, right? Now this character's got a lot of footage on it, which puts him in, like, a limelight, right? Everybody has seen this character. We all have seen what he can do and how monstrous he is. So it could have gone one of two ways. He either looks really lacking because we have a lot of footage, or he looks really strong. And he looks really strong. His ultimate looks crazy. It looks like he does constant damage over time with his uh, his um, auto attack. Um, Flamethrower looks super strong in long range with Fire Blast. Uh, it just looks crazy. Charizard looks broken. But uh, next in S tier, I mentioned him before, is actually Lucario, right? Now this character... Crazy, right? He's kind of like Ari when you think about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like a lead comparison, so... We'll, I'll finish Lucario and then I'll go back to Charizard for a lead comparison, okay? But like, Lucario is a little bit like Ari, but more of a fighter, right? Where he kind of just chases you down. If he hits you, he gets a reset on his dash, actually. I don't know if there's anybody in League like that. And like, the, but it reminds me a lot of like Ari's um, her ult. Or like a little like Katarina, just like chasing you down, dude. Like, it's legit crazy. And then he has all this damage person into it, and then Aura Sphere. That looks like a freaking Kamehameha or Final Blast. Final Flash. It does so much damage. So, if you're really looking for, like, um... Like a fighter, rush down character who's just always in somebody's face. Definitely, Lucario is looking like your way. So honestly, honestly, like Yasuo is freaking dashing through minions. It's literally like that. He's just dashing. He hits a freaking um, Pokemon reset. Hits a Pokemon reset. Charizard though. Who would I like in Charizard to? He's like a. Oh my God. He's like a. Oh my. Tank? He's not really tanky, right? But he's pretty fast. He does damage over time. And he's got good range. Imagine like a really... This is going to sound corny, right? But like imagine like a strong, actually good Shivana, right? That's what I can picture Charizard as. Even though they're both dragons, I know it seems like too simple to picture. But like that's honestly really what I see. With the mobility, with the fire, the flame attacks, the far distance with the her freaking AoE attack, which he has as well. It makes sense to me. Uh, moving on, we could jump to... I'm honestly a Zora, if I'm not mistaken. This is this monster. This is a monster, dude. He does so much damage, and we've seen him a good amount in a lot of this stuff. He's literally like set, dude. I think he does more damage based on the damage he takes. It's actually crazy. He seems fun to play too. He's very acrobatic. That's probably the only difference from Set is like he's jumping into the fight, other than Set's ult. So like other than that, he's a lot like Set when he like he does the damage backwards onto people, right? Uh, who are we moving to? Oh, we can move to uh, Snorlax. I think Snorlax is pretty good. I'm going to put him in B tier. I'm not going to put him super duper high yet because I think there's more left to be seen on Snorlax. But he is engaged. He is not dying. He is pure tank, right? This man is tanky, tanky, tanky. He's got that annoying knock-up that jumps onto you. And uh, I just... He does his job, right? It sounds like he just does what you think Snorlax would be doing. He just takes up space like he does just sitting in a route. And just yawns there, and he just does damage, docks you up, and he just soaks it all in. So, pretty good. Pretty good. What do I want to say? Slow bro, right? So, this is, um... He's very interesting, right? He's got uh, this passive, where he doesn't take damage all at once. So, like, let's say you were to, like, 0 to 100 him. Like, let's say you just instantly burst him. It doesn't work like that. He would just slowly take that damage over time instead, even though it would still be doing the full damage just over time. However, if he attacks you, he'll get some of that health back. So it kind of honestly reminds me of Tom Kench with his grayscale health, right? Where he could just constantly be surviving, he could just stay in the fight forever, because he could just get his health back, just, whoop, just group it back up, right? 
Uh, who, who should I move to next? Pikachu! Pikachu's pretty underwhelming. There's a good amount of footage of him, and it doesn't seem like he does too much damage. It seems like he's like a beginner's character. He's like very fast-paced. He's speedy. The electric bolts. Honestly, if anything, I'd say he's more like Ari. He's, he's pretty quick, but like not super damaging, and it's like you're going to be drawn to him right away, but I don't know if he's really going to be like the meta, you know? Alright, so the, some of these characters now, I haven't seen as much footage on, but they looked good to me in the footage I did see. Maybe they were super fed. Greninja being one of them. Greninja looked very strong when I was watching. He looked like he could just do, like, a copious amount of damage out of nowhere, dude. He's like a freaking ninja, like, town almost, with the burst that he had. Uh, Gengar, actually, I did see a lot of footage on. I, I could have put Gengar up there even earlier. Um, not a lot of footage, but I did see a good amount of Gengar footage. He's, uh, he's pretty interesting, right? So he's kind of like Pike in the sense that he can, he can go invisible. He's got a hook, right? Pulls you in. He's got a hex, too. So, like, he's like... Literally the visibility and the pull. And his ultimate, though, not like Pike, but a little, like... He goes invisible, right? And then he could reappear somewhere and then with an AoE damage. So, think of, like, a Nocturne ult, almost. Or, like, no, think of, like, a Ziggs ult, except for a Ziggs would appear there afterwards, too. So that's what it's going to be like, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, yeah, we're going to continue ranking them based off what I've seen so far. Venusaur is looking alright. I think Blastoise is looking a lot better. He was looking tankier. He had more range. He looked a little stronger to me. And I, this is just based off what I've seen so far. Um, I haven't seen Cuffball. haven't seen... Surprisingly, freaking Machamp... Or, uh, yeah, Machamp's been in the game since the very beginning. I haven't seen any of them. Talonflame, I've only seen a little of and didn't look that good. And... Not very much cuffable, but we can move to the actual tiers with all the Pokemon right here. Let me just make sure it's up on the screen for you. Yep, there we go. So this is actually all of the Pokemon so far. And I have it ordered, not with tiers, but I do have it like listed. This, the Pokemon you will see at the bottom need a little bit more explaining, but I can go over some of their movesets. Because I've like, read and breaking down like all the movesets already. I've, been talking to a lot of people about the game, a lot of inside scoop, you know what I mean? Some people have done some translations. Uh, ask some comments down below, probably make some more videos on that, but... Characters that I talked about. Oh, let's move him up. So characters that weren't on the tier list. Alolan Ninetales, and the videos I've seen looks disgusting, right? It looks like she gets a really early power spike in the very early evolve. Um, the stun looks crazy, the slows look crazy with the ice, a lot of damage over time. Alolan... Nine tails look S tier to me, like without question. Uh, Absol got this cool passive, right? He does extra dead critical strike damage. I mean, he has a higher chance of getting a critical strike, which is like, <laughs> god damn it! But like, it's pretty cool at the at the same time. Um, from what I've seen, he looks pretty good too. A lot of damage. Uh, very quick, fast. I would akin him to. Um, quick burst. Get in, get out. Zed. Yeah, if I had to contribute it to a league champion, it'd be a lot like Zed. A little nine tails would be a lot like freaking um, Anivia. The damage over time, the slows you just can't get to her. Um, Mr. Mime. This was a cool character. That freaking I don't know why he wasn't the tier list, right? Mr. Mime has like light screens and stuff like that. He has shields. He takes less damage. The more moves he does, like more defensive options with like his um, light screen. What's the other one called? Reflect. So he's like taking less damage to special defense, I think, or um, I think he gains special defense also with all these moves too. He's kind of like Braum in that aspect where he puts up this giant shield, he's like tanking damage for you. It looks pretty sick to me, honestly, I was liking Mr. Mon. Um, Guard of War we did get to see a little bit of. Guard of War was um, kind of like Ezra, she had like a mini teleport and she got the Qs, where she'd be shooting them Qs. So that's pretty cool, she has an area of um, effect ultimate, a burst, so that's pretty sick too. Not the strongest, and in my opinion, the, the Teemo of the game so far and all the videos I've seen is Eldegross, or Eldegross, more gross. Um, the reason for this is like, the, the champion is like, based around kiting and being really, really annoying, right? So, this Pokemon is supposed to be really fast, and it gains movement speed the lower health it has. Its ultimate gives it another movement speed buff. It's Tornado, Leaf Tornado is supposed to knock you up. So it's just constantly running away from you while doing this little amount of damage and healing up its teammates around you. So annoying. Think of like a Senna, Senna team up. So like super annoying. Super annoying. Um, but there's a few characters we could talk about the movesets for. Specifically Garchomp and Cinderace, right? 
So I haven't seen any footage for either of them, but I do, like I said, I've, I've read their movesets, and they do seem pretty interesting. Uh, Garchomp seems a lot like, think of, um... Think of Rammus if Rammus did damage. He has this ability, or his, yeah, his ability is that he's like rock skin. Every damage he takes, he does damage back to you. So the longer the game goes and the tanker he goes, it's just going to be so annoying. Rough skin, I think that's what his ability is. It's going to be so annoying. He knows dig, so he's going to be able to like get around the map, you know, very quickly. Or I shouldn't say quickly, but very sneakily sometimes. He can come up and like knock you up with dig as well. I think um, his ultimate... Kind of is like the Pokémon Ultimate, where it's like got a lot of damage, and then this is just random cooldown for no reason. But there's gonna be like a, a, a moment where he's like relaxing. So I'm expecting his freaking Ultimate to do lots and lots and lots of damage. If that's the point of it, if it's gonna have like an inverse effect, where none of the Ultimates have had an inverse effect yet, I feel like there should be um, a very, very, very large payout, right? And then Cinderace with the kicks, yo. So he's got like a fire kick. He slides in, he's got a kick, and he jumps back to where he initially started, and everybody got hit along the way, gets burned. His ability is like if somebody, if Pokemon, after they're burned, use three attacks to get burned even more. So, I mean, for maybe it's for each of the next three ability or attacks they use, they get burned. But it's like pretty cool, some damage over time. And uh, this makes me think of uh, like Brand almost, except for he's got a little more mobility than Brand, as you could uh, heard with like the kick in and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see Cinderace and Garchomp. These are my two favorite Pokemon that have been announced so far, and sadly I don't have any footage on them, but I did get to read their movesets, and they do seem very interesting. Cinderace's ultimate is like he kicks the uh, fire into an AoE area too, it's also really sick. But um, nothing on Crustle, Cramorant, and I haven't seen anything on Cuffable yet, but... This is again just my early beta tier list, as my thoughts on what I've seen early in the game, and like what I've seen play out, and like how things I think are going to work together from all my time in League. I got a lot of time in League of Legends, let me tell you, I hate to admit it. Over a thousand hours. Yep, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, you should leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You should probably check out the Twitch channel, you know, we're going to be streaming over here, streaming a lot of Pokemon. You know, Pokemon Unite, I want to make sure... I got the content out there for you guys, as well as Pokemon Snap. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Please subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think down below. Who else you want to see in this game? Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.